If you get a nerve test and it's positive for carpal tunnel, could that also be from the neck? So this is actually a great question and the short answer is yes, absolutely. If you have a nerve conduction velocity EMG test and it comes up positive for carpal tunnel, it absolutely could still be a neck issue. Remember, these nerve conduction tests are actually in a local area, a specific segment of the nerve. So if it comes up that at the wrist, you have slowed transmission of that median nerve, so it's positive, it could still be coming up from the neck. These tests don't test at the nerve root and they often don't show double crush phenomenon, which is where there's pressure on the nerve in one area and another area. And by the way, pressure on the nerve higher up leads to susceptibility of pressure down below. So it slows the signal and makes that nerve more susceptible to pressure where if you didn't have pressure higher up, you wouldn't get symptoms from the compression of the nerve lower down. So yes, absolutely, your carpal tunnel can be coming from your neck still if you had a positive nerve conduction velocity test, and there's some easy ways to tell. Number one is if you have any symptoms above your wrist, any symptoms above your wrist in your forearm, your elbow, your biceps, your shoulder, your neck, you absolutely do not have carpal tunnel. Number two is if it's bilateral. If it's bilateral, it almost always has to be from your neck. It's rarely carpal tunnel. And then finally, another simple one is if your symptoms are happening at rest if you're not using your hands. If you're just sitting there, if you're driving, if you're laying in bed and you're getting your carpal tunnel symptoms, absolutely more likely coming from your neck, not your wrist.